We're going to be looking at how you can remain free on a set, TV or film, where there's a lot of distractions and you might find yourself, you might have found yourself already, you know, feeling free in your prep and really getting ready and, uh, you know, being in your, in your space, feeling really, really present, really free, really instinctive. But then, you know, the hairdresser comes and there's a conversation there. Or even if you're trying to stay in your bubble, the conversation is happening between two other hairdressers. Or, you know, uh, something is happening um, on set itself and you're getting distracted with new lines that you have to learn at the, line, uh, at the last minute. Or you might be distracted by other characters that are in your scene and that you're supposed to be connected to and maybe you don't feel connected to them or the opposite you're supposed to feel really distant to them and you're very attracted to them right so there's a lot of egos on set there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of friction there's a lot of different areas of focus there's a possibility i've heard some actors tell me oh but i want to network when i'm on set so how can i keep staying in my zone and you might have caught yourself doing that too really wanting to make some nice connections to relate to other people to really deeply uh, and meaningfully connect about the industry and future projects but then you lose your mojo because you've been speaking about speaking about something else and so all of those things and there's so many more right like oh it's 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 you've been preparing for your uh close-up but no it's lunch and so you're super tired because you kept your concentration super high and now you have to go to lunch and right after lunch you're so not concentrated and you're feeling full and you can't open up that's another big one that happens a lot or the opposite lunch is not happening i'm starving i can't concentrate so the the thing that i'm trying to say is that of course um there's always a distraction on set and the biggest set the bigger the set the bigger the role the bigger the movie the bigger the names on the project the more distraction there will be right and so it can be very frustrating because you're really excited about defending a character you're really excited about being free and being super present and you know giving it your best and honoring the character and you've worked hard and you're you know you want to do this right but then all of this stuff comes and you lose your shit. And that's really frustrating because when you put that much into preparation and into a dream and then when it's the moment to actually show up and you're not able to show up as incredible as you know that you can be, as free as you know that you can be, then it defeats the whole purpose, right? You're feeling lost. So you may have you know, tried to train more, you may have taken a lot of classes, you may have tried plenty of different techniques, shrinks, books, you know, whatever, different angles at how, how can I keep that concentration? How can I keep my focus, my confidence, my, how am I able to actually, you know, keep all the distraction out so that I can stay in my zone and be free? And so what I would like to suggest that we talk about um, today is actually a little bit of a tilt on the title of this life, right? Because being free doesn't mean I'm 100% freely myself and freely feeling what I'm feeling and being instinctive and intuitive and in the moment when I'm all by myself in my bedroom or in my car or when I'm rehearsing. Because by definition, acting and performing is only happening when it's happening with an audience, with a set, with you being looked at, right? The camera being on. And so inevitably, there will be distractions. There will be other things happening. So the setting is not an acting class when you know when your turn is going to be, when you know that you've rehearsed with your character, when you know how much time you'll have, where you know that you can try it again and you'll get your teacher's you know, insights on what you did. It's not that. So what I actually want to take the discussion to is let's bring it to reality. A set is not full of distractions. A set is a set. Acting happens on a set where that stuff of everyone having their thing and interrupting you and coming into your zone and needing for you to change things and needing for you to interact when you're not ready to interact, all of that is normal. 
None of that should not be expected. So for you to be free and think, oh, but that's, I, I'm free. But when I'm on set and I'm having problems with the director or the assistant director or my actor or people are distracting me and that because of that I'm not free, you're off. Because there's always, 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 always going to be distractions and interventions and different egos and needs and things to fulfill on set that are not just your freedom. You're one of the elements on set. You're the most important one because the, you're the only alive piece of you know, material on set. Everything else is technical. You're the only alive one. And yet everything has to work together. So you thinking that your responsibility is to be free when circumstances are working for you and then you go on set and there's so much happening that you wish they would just shut the F up so that you can remain free, that is delusional. Because a set is a bunch of busy pe people having different opinions and different egos and trying to make it work and look in the same direction so that the story will be told with the vision. So inevitably, it's a team effort, it's a collaboration, and no one is there for you. Everyone is there for the story and it all has to work together and everyone's doing their best. So what I'm saying is you need to shift perspective from something weird on my keyboard it looks like a little worm it's a tiny one ew okay so i hope nothing's falling from here and that i'm gonna finish this life with worm in my hair so what i'm saying is you gotta shift from this perspective i have some designs on my hand this perspective of oh i'm free i've done my part they better shut the hell up so because I'm showing up and they they need to make it happen for me or or I, I somehow need to get to that level where I can keep that all away from me or have like a shield around me so I'm not affected to no, 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 no. The, the set with all its noise and all its volume and all the counter egos and conflicts and all of the things happening that are constantly coming into your bubble is normal. That's what, to, what it is the minimum of what's to be expected. There's worst case scenarios where you're the lead actor. I've already coached someone in that position. You're the lead actor or lead actress. And then the lead other person that you need to interact with that you're supposed to be madly in love with, you hate. And you have to spend the whole season on the show loving and adoring each other when actually you can't stand each other. And there's very toxic things happening in the background when you're not on set. So that is just what your freedom has to deal with. Freedom does not mean I protect myself from everything, I don't let anything in, and I keep this. Because that's impossible. There's too much happening, and it is constantly happening, and it is to be expected. So the way that you wanna be able to show up on set is that you're so open and free and present that whatever is happening you're able to use that, to take that in as the character, to stay in character and to have everything that's around you inform and charge and nourish and add on to your preparation. You can't be in the actor trying to shut everything out of you. You have to be in character on set. And you want to be really present to everything that's happening and seeing how that can affect you and that can actually feed you, charge you, make you even more present. And for that, you really have to make sure that you're capable of staying open when unexpected, unknown, conflicting things are coming in because you have to not be afraid of feeling those things. If you're gonna use them in your art, you have to be pretty darn sure that you can let them flow through you. And if you're scared of whatever could come, because it could disrupt what you're trying to control, which is your freedom, you won't let anything in. If you're not gonna let every, anything in, you're gonna be closed up. If you're closed up, you're not free. So it's really about being so free so open that the unknown, the distractions, the conflicts, 
that is showing up can actually be used to your benefit, to the character's benefit. And that takes mastery, of course, right? So the work that we do in the reset journey is really to help actors move through those resistances, the thing that want to resist life that's happening around you because you've been raised that way, because you've been conditioned that way, to resist everything that's coming my way because I need to protect myself. So we help people move through that resistance and we wake up the instinct and the freedom so that you can actually start really relying on what your true freedom is. And your true freedom does not need protection. Your true freedom is the most vulnerable and the most powerful thing you have going on at the same time. And it's not afraid of the unknown. It's actually seeking it. It's not afraid of life. It's actually wanting to dive in it. But you probably don't know that part of your freedom because of course you've been educated and conditioned and formatted to not be in that type of freedom. You've been told to, you know, sit down and shut up and repress your emotions and don't cry and don't be angry and, you know, stay away from those people and that's wrong and that's frowned upon and, you know, fit, behave, do what you're told. So because you've been raised that way, you're afraid that of anything that will come from the inside that you don't have control over. And you will be afraid and resisting anything that comes from the outside, impulses that come from the outside. Instinct, freedom, true presence and true opening and where art inevitably happens is a state of being where you're so open to anything that happens from the inside, you can surrender to it and explore it. And anything that happens from the outside, you can surrender it, surrender to it and explore it too. That is really being present. Being present is not, leave me alone, I'm free. I don't want to be bothered right now. Oh shit, I'm scared. Let's not feel that right now because I'm, that's not what's needed of me right now. That's not freedom. That's being shielded. That's being wall, putting, building a wall around you. That's being very closed up. And I'm not saying that's wrong. I am telling you that it is the result of conditioning. It's not your fault. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing bad with you. There's nothing to improve. Your freedom is right under it. Your job is to get it back. Your job is to move through that resistance so that you can be in your true opening and the true life that's actually wanting and craving to flow through you from the inside out and the outside in. So I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, when you get that true freedom back and when you move through that resistance, yes, you will be capable to show up on set and be utterly free without protection, without trying to, you know, control your state of being, but actually truly being there in the moment, present, open, and ready to play. Really ready to play with what's coming outside of you and what's coming at you and how that will actually enrich your experience without you even knowing where it will take you. But that's where the job is. That's where the responsibility is. <laughs>